So let's guys uh, welcome you for the new chapter that is your network synthesis. We have a few types in this. Let's start with the first type. Your first type is based on Hurwitz polynomial. So let's have a look what you mean by Hurwitz polynomial. When I say Hurwitz polynomial, that I need to check the following function, it is not or it is. I need few steps to be remembered for this. Step number one. All the coefficients should be positive. Or to make it much easier, all the terms should be positive. Step number two. The powers should be in a decreasing form. Step number three. There should not be any missing term in between. Step number four. The powers can be even or out. But again, there should not be any missing term between that. This four steps is at most important to start with a rich polynomial. Again, let's revise it. Step number one. Your coefficient should be positive. Step number two. The power should be in descending order. Step number three. There should not be any missing term in the powers. For example, 4, 3, 2 is not there, 1, 0. It should not be like that. Step number 4. Either your powers can be all even, all, or all odd. Again, there should not be any missing term. For example, your powers are 6, 4, 2, 0. If sequence is 6, 4, 0, 2 is not there, that means that not cannot be accounted for. It. In case of odd, 9, 7, 5, 3, 1. So if it is only 9, 7, 3, 1, 5 is not there, that means it cannot be a habit for you. This four steps before starting start with the habits for you. So let's start my dear friends. If all these four conditions among this is not feeling, so let's start with it. Whatever equation you are getting in, divide into two powers, even powers and odd powers. M of s, n of s. M of s is the even powers, n of s is the odd powers. So the even powers are s is to 4, then 5 is there, plus 4 means s is to 2. The odd is s2, s minus 2. Check which power is greater. So we have m of s. So depending on that, you will be dividing. So you will divide your bigger power with a smaller power. So the division in how its polynomial is a continued division, not a normal division. So let's have a look how to do a continued division. Very simple, just have a look. So your highest power is m of s. Your lowest power is n of s or so let's start the continued division. The highest power term should be divided by the highest power term over here. That means s is to 4 divided by s cube. The term which you will be getting is s. After getting this term, multiply this term with both all the terms over here. So we'll get s is to 4. 3 s. Change the sign. Cancel value which you get is 2 is squared. Shift this. So that is known as continued division. Again, see the highest term 1 is 2 divided by the highest term over here 2 is 2. The term which you get is n divided. Multiply this with this. This means the term which you get is. Divide the highest term over here, the highest term over here. Okay. Multiply this with this. Shift. Since 
both of them around the one comes and divide the this. What is the difference? So you need to divide till the time you get the value is Now for the steps. How to check whether it is a perfect or not? All the coefficients should be positive. If any other coefficient is negative, straight away it will not be positive. Next. The highest power in the equation was The number of powers it should be equal to a number of coefficients. The number of highest power was 4, so the coefficient is also 4. So, all this condition, if I check if it is true, then that equation is termed as a perfect set. Now you can see the polynomial is. A simple example of what is going on. Let's have few more modifications in this step. Thanks for this signing off. Let's have a nice day.